and welcome to the Philly Sports Dish, another edition Philadelphia Eagles. And we'll talk a little 76ers as the saga continues, the epic journey of one Ben Tiberius Simmons, Australia's greatest athlete. So let's talk about some good news. We got some good news. Last week was kind of dark. Okay. This week, sun's up a little bit. The Philadelphia Eagles, <laughs> impressive win. So let's start off by getting your overall reaction to what we saw on Sunday. Most impressive game since week one against Atlanta. Um, I was, a, you know, I know I've been preaching patience, and I've, I've been a little down on Jalen the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. But in fairness, hey, he looked good. He looked yeah. good Sunday. It was just like, after like week one, I was like, I want some more. I want some more. Like now, you know, I'm a little bit more excited for this upcoming week's game against the Saints because I want to see if he can continue to play as well as he did this past Sunday. Yeah, it's amazing what happens when the coach isn't playing one-dimensional football and you mm -hmm. give a young quarterback an opportunity to run some play action, I'm, settle down in the pocket, <clears throat> step into his throws like I was saying. Absolutely. And I would say this, even the one interception he threw, that wasn't even his fault. Gainwell did a horrible job yeah, picking off, up the off. blitz. And and he threw the ball a little sooner. I mean, a veteran probably would have ate that and just took the sack or whatever. But mm -hmm. I don't even blame him for that. I thought he played – it was it, it was it was his best game of the season. Um, I think considering the opponent and where they were at, because uh, the team they needed this. They needed because I think if they lose this game, they 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 probably going to tank the rest of the season. Yeah, I'm officially at a point when it comes to Jalen Hurts where if you're a Jalen Hurts attractor, because most Jalen Hurts attractors, let's be honest, are Carson mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at his first 14 games statistically, Jalen Hurts has a higher completion percentage and a higher quarterback rating. And Donovan did. Okay? But the rap on Jalen is he's had a noodle arm. He was benched in college, which people just cannot get over. You know, I'd rather be benched at, you know, at a top program than killing it at North Dakota State. And I'm just going to call, like, the Carson people out who just won't drop it when it comes to knocking Jalen Hurts and won't get a kid time. All right. So the rap on Carson – coming into his first year was he didn't protect the football and he didn't protect himself. Okay. okay. We had the whole ginger Jesus thing that year one and year two. During that year one and that year two, he didn't protect himself and he didn't protect the football. But everyone seemed to forget that. Now this young guy comes along and he can't, he's done. They're talking, you know, every time this coach calls 50 passes in a game and he doesn't look stellar, all of a sudden it's, it's got a noodle arm. Well, he can't step into his throws. <clears throat> well, I, I listen. <clears throat> well, he got benched in college. I mean, oh, oh. I understand C that. Clutch pearls. But you know, just 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 to give a little bit of balance here, I, I, and I, I'm not going to say as much as the Carson people ba bashing him, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little of blame too. I think you like to see somebody who fits the type, and what I mean by that is strong arm, yeah, pocket presence. You know, and this is where I and you said something interesting last week, and I completely and this is just our outlook, our approach to things like this is different, our perspective. You said that you want your guy to be have those skills, yes, have that be you know not to be like the hard worker, but I, I don't know, it's just my experience, especially like and this goes back to like being a teacher and I see that talented person. Mm -hmm. I see that gifted person who's naturally good at something. And I always say this, give me 10 hard workers. I don't care what position you're in. Now, if you can put that skill together with that hard worker mentality, that's a beautiful thing. But here's the deal. Mainly you get more Jeff Georges than you get see, those star players. Listen, I understand what you're saying, and for everybody except the best player, I'm on board with you. And I agree with you, but look at this. Think about Super Bowl winning quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. For every Patty Mahomes who's like a ridiculous athlete, you do have your Joe Montana who wasn't. Not, a, not an amazing athlete. Just knew how to play the game and knew how to, knew how to kill you. See, he, I, he was, with his chicken <laughs> legs, and he, and he never – that was the rap on I him. I mean, if that's, the case, the, greatest if that's the case, you can say the same thing about legs. Tom Brady. So I think if that's the case, then we're not seeing this eye to eye because I don't view Jalen Hurts in the Joe Montana, Tom Brady yeah. class. And, and, and that's my whole point is why I don't think 
I, I, you can give up on a guy. I view just, him more as the the Nick Foles, like Brad Johnson yeah. type of that. And he and, might turn into that. But, but the problem with that is, and this is the problem that I always have with it, because normally in order to get to the mountaintop, yeah. on the other side, it's going to be an alpha male that can do big things. Yeah. So you know you're gonna run into the the Aaron Rodgers, the yep. Tom Brady's, the uh, the Kyler Murray's, like all these quarterbacks that can put a team on their back. Mm -hmm. You know, to me that that's what I gravitate towards. Now I'm not going. I will say this: that's what everyone gravitates towards. Yes. Those guys go early. Yes. But all I'm saying is this: let's not count out those other guys that go in the second and third round, and in Brady's case, which is you know his case is miraculous. You know, you go in the fifth round. You know, that's all I'm saying is if you look at the NFL mm -hmm. and you look at these championship quarterbacks, mm -hmm. you have your pedigree guys, yes. and then you have your guys who just know how to flat out play the game. Let, let, once again, like I'm not, I understand your point, but I, I'll put it like this: this is a, this is what I, this is how I put it. You know, it's certain quarterbacks you got to say we can't score too soon, we can't get that guy the ball back, mm -hmm. and that's the quarterback I want. And that's no knock against Jalen Hurts, but right now it ain't like you saying. You know, oh, we left Jalen Hurts too much time. Now, hopefully down the line, that might be something he can be. I don't pronosticate that. Mm -hmm. but and, and that's when I say where I want that that stud, yeah. so to speak. But think about how many times so far in his young career. Like, when the game was over, he, he gave the team the lead. Or he put them in a position <clears throat> to win. Listen, once again, I... Because it's coming off like I'm taking a shot at Jalen and I don't believe in him. I'm just saying, like, my personal preference, give me the big dog. But yeah. if I have to take that step back, then, you know, I don't have no problem with, you know, you, you're not going to find an Aaron Rodgers growing on trees or a Tom Brady or Peyton Manning. That, yeah. You know, that's that's a pipe dream. Yeah. But I just think if you gave everybody true serve, they'd be like, you know, I'd rather have Peyton Manning than the hard worker. Yeah. No, and that's all I'm saying. Yeah, and all I'm saying, and this is a matter of perspectives again, is don't count out those hard workers. Mm -hmm. Don't count out those hard workers. They'll get you a trophy as well, you know, if you know what you're doing. You know, and I think that's the key with the Eagles, and that's going to be the key with this coaching staff. As they learn on the job, you know, is whether or not they're strong enough to actually continue to progress with Jalen Hurts. So that's, you know, the interesting thing. Right there, we'll see. Hey, listen, I'm 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 rooting for him though. I, I hope that I, he can take the ball by the horns and and he can prove to be the starting quarterback. I would like to say I would I'll say the majority of people are rooting for him, but there is that element where they're just they just know more than everyone and they're contrarian. If you're the starting quarterback for the Eagles, then they want to see the backup play. Yeah, and, and um, like I said, like I said, he doesn't fit what I would want in a quarterback. Mm -hmm. But I put my biases to the side. And I say, look, I'm going to watch him play this year and. We'll see. At the end of the year, let's see, let's see what happens, and I'm going to be fair with him. And if he goes out and he continues to play at a level he did this past week, let's go. Yeah. And I'll say this, and then we'll close. And I'm not even talking about race, but slightly, a little bit. If he looked like Carson Wentz, then he would have less heat. I mean, but, I mean and I'm not about? even talking specifically <laughs> about I mean his race. I mean, like, race is a little factor in it. But I'm talking about his height, you know, and just everything, his build, everything. Then he'd have less and you put that in that package and that's where race comes in, you know, and you know, it would be a lot there. I think there would be more people just willing to give him a chance because it seems like in this country and especially in football, you're, you're, you're giving more, you got a little bit more rope, you well, know, yeah. a little bit more lead way. That's a, that, that's a Carson still hasn't fixed his problems to this day. And I got to hear how great he is. So, well, that's a conversation for another time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be all day with that. Yeah. And speaking of being all day, um, let's get into as the Sixers turn. Okay. Uh, I'm getting exhausted with this. <sighs> yeah. I, I'm at a point now where I'm just like, we were joking like right before the show shot that we're going to see Ben Simmons playing on middle school teams in Philly, <laughs> you know, playing for the, playing for the, uh, the Wildcats somewhere, the uh, middle school, you know. Um, I was, I was, I was disappointed in his agent coming out and basically uh, trying Rich to, Paul? yeah, back the Sixers into a corner, like insinuating that they were, um, didn't believe Ben Simmons yeah. had a manager and also insinuating that they were contributing to his mental anguish by continuing to find him. And for lack of a better term, one of a doctor's note that he actually is going to a therapist. And 
I commend the Sixers, as I've been saying for the last month or so. Mm -hmm. Just continue to be the adults. Just continue to handle it. Do, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's. Don't get into a back and forth PR war. Mm -hmm. And just try to stay above the fray. Um, this Ben Simmons thing, it's just like, I'll just be glad when it's over. Like, I understand what the Sixers are doing, but it, it's just starting to get exhausting. Yeah, at this point, it's exhausting. It's like, you know, every week we do as the Ben Simmons turns. Mm -hmm. And it's at a point where it's like, you know, what can we say? You know, what more can we say? What more can we do except the Sixers need to stay the course? If I'm worried, I'm like, look, I ain't Adele. You ain't running game on me, Rich Paul. Mm -hmm. Like, the bottom line is this. You need to get your guy in. If he's going to get paid, and that's that. We're not playing any more games with him. If this is a mental health issue, we have everything here to help him. We will pay for the best doctors, the best whatever you need, but enough with the games, all right? And from you know, from what I'm seeing and, and from what I've read and heard, December 15th is the date. That's the date when free agents who signed this past year are eligible to be traded. And from what I'm hearing is they're saying between December 15th and the trade deadline, they should have something worked out. So I... That's what's made this a little bit even more confusing is it's like, let's just come to some type of understanding, you know, and let's just let's just get on with it. Because like, like I said, it's just, it's enough. And yeah. And the Sixers already, the team has moved on. You know, what happened with, you know, the virus that ran through the team now and they lost four in a row as we speak, you know, and they're going to barely put a team together again tonight. But. You know, at this point, the Sixers have moved on. Like they have their, they have his replacement. So, you know, it's just like you said, stay the course. You're gonna get the right deal for your team. You can't worry about Ben. You need to get. You got him locked in for four years, whether he likes it or not. You have to make that move that's going to help your team get over that second round hump. And at that point, you can hold out. You know, it's the inverse of what you see in the old school NFL with the holdouts. You know, you're the one holding out here. Okay. You have all of the cards. You're you're losing nothing right now. So, Ben can kick rocks, as I've said before. You know, right play again. the play the music to the end of the Incredible Hulk and let him walk the old '70s show. Let him walk into the sunset. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm tapped out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Tap. <laughs> like, yeah, he's got us in the uh, anaconda vice lock. <laughs> like, like this whole issue. As it's like, I'm, I'm done. I can't, I can't deal. Ben, good luck at Good Shepherd Elementary this week. I heard you. He doesn't want to play. He's, he's even though he's the tallest in the elementary school, he's insisting on playing point guard. You know, so we'll see how that goes with the elementary school kids. He's practicing with. Still won't shoot. They're frustrated. Could just shoot the ball, Ben. <laughs> You're so much taller than us. <laughs> so, good luck, little Good Shepherd Rams. All right, that's a super obscure reference right there. All right, so let's close up um, real quick. Mm -hmm. Eagle Saints this week. What do you say? This is they're in the hunt for a wild card spot. Who would have known? I'll tell you like this. This is this is it. I'm, I'm gonna go on the limb and say, listen. They win, they make the playoffs. They lose, they won't make the playoffs. This game proves that they make the playoffs. Now, mark this down. A win and they're in. A loss and they're out. A loss and they're tossed. There, there we go. Is. There <laughs> it is. So that's what you What do you see happening? <clears throat> I see a competitive game. I see a close game. But if you're asking me, I think the Saints, this might be a little too tough. Um, yeah, I agree, but dude, I have not seen the Eagles win. I can't remember the last time I've seen them <laughs> win at home. I'm like, what the hell am I spending this money for at this point? Yeah, the Saints have a, a above average defense. I think they're going to be able to maybe take some things away from the Eagles, and I mm -hmm. still just don't trust the Eagles defense, uh, even with the mediocre quarterback on the other side. I think Sean Payton is a, a sharp mind that's going to be able to exploit some things. I'm pulling for the Eagles. They, actually, they absolutely have a shot to win this game. But if you're asking me right now how I feel, I feel like, you know, the Saints are a little bit better. I need to see if Gannon can actually stay with it, if the defense can actually stay with playing the way they played in Denver. Or are we going to go back to just being massively passive? As, as I look into the mic and whisper, 
the Eagles were getting dominated in that third quarter. And if he doesn't fumble that, they go in and tie the game up at 20. And who knows what happens. Yeah. But great game. Eagles got it done. Got the fumble. Big game slay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so is, that's my way of saying, yeah, I have no confidence yeah, in defense. I, I noticed that as well. Where it's like, look, this is as bad as Sirianni was at the beginning. This is like the defensive coordinator is co-tight level. Terrible. I, I just got to be honest. Um and like you said, the turnover just turnovers are the ultimate deodorant yeah. on defense. So we'll see. Um, I'm with you. I think the Saints. Um, I think it'll be the same thing. Hurts gives them the lead at the end. The defense lets them walk down the field and score, yeah. and they'll lose by field goal. Hopefully, the, we're the Chargers right. too. And I, I'll never see in my mind as I'm walking out that stadium and it's quiet. I'm, gonna, I'm never going to see them win a game at all. <laughs> I'm never going to see this happen. Well, the Giants are risking to be here at some point. <laughs> and they'll still lose. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> but hey, they beat Denver. So four wins. I think I still think it's a small miracle with this coaching staff. They got four wins. So we'll see. Go birds. Like we'll see. All right. That's gonna be it. Okay. That's gonna be it. Like I think we will see what happens next week. So when we come back, we'll get more on Ben Simmons. Hopefully he'll be gone by now. Um by then. The Eagles will be in the playoff hunt officially. We'll have something to talk about. Either they'll be a playoff team or they won't. Yeah, <laughs> they, they or they won't. Learn on the job, Sirianni, you get a little bit better, and we'll we'll take it from there. Yeah, well, and hopefully Jalen can improve can improve upon the performance he had this past yeah, week. Yeah, just keep building off of it and you know, stick it to the haters. Yeah. So stick it to the haters, young man. All right, so that's going to be it for the Philly Sports Dish for this week. Remember, follow us on all social media platforms. We are really appreciating the love you folks are giving us out there as we continue to build and grow, trying to do something a little bit different. Anywhere you can find a podcast, we'll be there. Anywhere on social media, take a look. Enjoy best 20 minutes in sports. For me, one only big game name for my main man, Do. Next week, go birds.